June is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, a disease that affects 7 million Americans. So to help us understand more and to get great tips on caring for family members suffering memory loss, please welcome Dr. Macy Smith. Yeah. What's the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's? Thank you for asking that question yes. because many people don't know that there is a difference. Alzheimer's is the disease, dementia is the symptom. Mm -hmm. So dementia is a group of symptoms or a set of behaviors that a person displays as a result of having a condition impairing a person's cognitive ability, their ability to think through things, remember things, communicate, perform. For example, if you go to the doctor for a cough, the doctor is going to try to figure out what's causing that cough mm. symptom. It could mm. be COVID, it could be an upper a respiratory infection and so you if you are a loved one is diagnosed with dementia the very first thing you need to ask the doctor is what type or what's causing it Alzheimer's just happens to be the most common type where there are over oh. 100 causes what are some of the risk factors for Alzheimer's disease? So the biggest risk factor is age, but make no mistake about it. Simply because you're of a particular age doesn't mean you're going to get it. It's not a normal part of aging, but there are what I call aggravating factors that could be addressed. You think about lifestyle. If you're not eating a well-balanced diet, a healthy diet, if you're not exercising or staying active, if you're not managing those chronic illnesses such as high blood pressure or hypertension. I'm from the South, Al, so we say pressure. Yes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Right? You are talking pressure. to a man. Pressure. And the sugar. Yes. And, and the sugar. Yes. So believe it or not, being lifelong learners, you have to continue to build that brain power, learn new information, go new places, new experience. What do people who are suffering from the disease experience? So I will say, when you've met one person with Alzheimer's disease or dementia, you've met that one person. Everybody's experience is different, but there are some typical things that we see. Just imagine walking under a cloud and not being able to get from up under that cloud. Think about or imagine having a dream or a nightmare, and you are trying to take control over that narrative of a nightmare, and you can't. Wow. What's a moment for us? is a lifetime for them. Medicare doesn't cover it, traditional insurance doesn't cover it. You know who covers it? The senior who has to decide whether or not to pay for oh, their light bill geez. or their medication. Family members who are actually going bankrupt and depleting their savings in order to pay to care for someone who's giving them life. You can change, they can't. Sure. So I oftentimes tell family members and caregivers to focus on the person and not the disease. Focus on the heart and the soul of the person. And if you speak to that, then you'll get a totally different outcome. You know the, um, the saying, people might forget what you said. People might forget what you did, but they never forget how you make them, them feel. feel. I don't care how their brain is deteriorating. That heart and soul is still there. They may no longer talk like your mom. They may no longer respond like your mom, but they still feel like they're your mom. So that's the biggest takeaway. Focus on the person and not the Amen. disease. Amen. Right. Right. In DBL Nation, if you or someone you know is caring for someone suffering from Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia, you can get a copy of Dr. Macy's book, The Journey, A Dementia Caregiver Called to Action on Amazon. All of your un so unanswered important. questions will be right here. Some support. Thank Thank you right. again. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.